there's nothing like a cup of nice hot coffee. Unless, of course, it's a second cup of hot coffee. Now, the ideal brewing temperature for a cup of coffee is around 90 degrees Celsius. And so, as soon as you pour it, it's probably somewhere in that neighborhood of 90 degrees. Now, because the coffee is so hot, it starts to cool fairly rapidly initially. Eventually, it slows down, and it starts to approach room temperature. And so, it looks exactly like one of those exponential curves with an asymptote that the temperature of the coffee is eventually going to get closer and closer to room temperature, but it might never really reach it. This introduces Newton's law of cooling, which is an exponential relationship describing how objects in general cool. We can use our half-life concept by noticing that this particular cup of coffee has cooled halfway to room temperature. In other words, it's cooled halfway from 90 down to 20, or reached about 50 degrees, in approximately 20 minutes. You can see that this kind of relationship holds again that at 40 minutes it's cooled half of the way from 50 down to 20 degrees to 35 degrees at 40 minutes. In this activity you're going to be developing an algebraic model that describes the cooling of a cup of coffee. Your model needs to describe the following characteristics. You need to start with an initial temperature of a delicious, delicious 90 degrees. Your cup needs to cool closer and closer to a room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. And it should cool halfway to room temperature in about 20 minutes. You should be able to explain to me exactly how you developed your function. In other words, how you arrived at the different parameters in your function. And you should be able to explain how your function would change or what would be different about your function if it was describing an insulated cup as opposed to just a regular porcelain cup.